That is it, full time Manchester United 3, Real Betis. Real Betis 2. It's been a beautiful first half, but it's been a, a dull second half, I have to say. It's been a dull second half, but the first half was magnificent. Onana was laughing on the bench. Wabasaka laughing on the bench. They're all happy the fact that we won this game. Of course, Marcus Rashford from a penalty spot opened up the score in this match for Manchester United. And Ahmad Diallo, sensational finish. Sensational finish for the second goal. Uh, that was a pass from uh, the left back, the new left back. Uh, it was a decent pass. It was a decent, decent pass. It got deflected, falls to Ahmad, and Ahmad puts it in. Sensational finish at Casemiro. Uh, scored the third goal with a tap in from a uh, really, really close by distance. Uh, easy pass from Marcus Rashford uh, uh, from set piece, and Casemiro puts it in. But look, all in all, I think this was a decent performance. It's a much improved performance compared to what we saw against Arsenal. Uh, uh, may this continue may this continue I think our next game now is going to be against Liverpool in the weekend Liverpool has just beaten Chelsea I mean Arsenal today Arsenal have beaten us so is it maybe time for us to beat Liverpool who knows who knows but it's going to be interesting to see what we're going to do in that match but for today uh, I'm happy with the uh, with the performance especially the first half and the attacking in the midfield looked decent but our defense Boy, oh boy, we are in trouble. I mean, Yoro, the, the news has just come out that he's going to be out for three months. We need another center back. We need De Ligt and we probably going to need another center back. I'm not trying to rely on Harry Maguire, Johnny Evans, and Lindelof for the rest of the season, next season. No chance, bro. No chance. And we need to make a decision right now, ASAP. ASAP. And we need to sign defenders. We need to sign defenders, but yeah. Uh, decent game, decent game. We appreciate, brother. May God uh, be with you, wish you with dedication, says that Brian Favor says that Steve Murray is a good left back. Amas, yeah, Amas was the guy. Amas was the left back, but look, all in all, decent, decent, but it could improve. Anthony got hooked off. I seriously don't know if it's an injury or if it's a fight between a manager. Looked like it could have been both. I, I don't know, but we're going to see what they're going to say in the media because he just did not look happy when he came off. Yeah, potentially maybe he's not happy because he's, he's injured or maybe he got hooked off and he's not happy. We will know more in detail about that. But right now, as if, as if right now, we know that Anthony was taken off. That's what we know, and it just doesn't look good. Regardless, it just doesn't look good. Um, Marcus Rashford did okay in this game, scored from a penalty spot, like I said, and got an assist. Jada Sancho, a bit of a quiet game for him today. Amad Diallo, magnificent, made some mount. Poor, I would say poor, but poor is maybe harsh, but I would say just average, just basic. I mean, we spent 60 M's on this guy, and he doesn't look like a 60M player. Never does, man. Never, never does. So, look, a lot of improvement is needed. But, yeah, at the end of the day, uh, we've won the game. Why is the time still ticking, bro? Why is the time still ticking? I should have stopped it. I should have stopped it. But anyways, yeah, thank you all for watching. Yeah, make sure you smash the like on the stream. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. But I'm out of here. Thank you all. Good night. Peace.